Today's story time is in collaboration with My Furry Valentine, Greater Cincinnati's largest pet adoption event. The annual mega adoption event connects hundreds of homeless animals with new owners by bringing multiple rescues and shelters together during the month of February every year. Since the event started in 2012, My Furry Valentine has helped over 6,000 furry friends find forever homes. To learn more, visit MyFurryValentine.com. Story time at home. Hi, friends. My name is Sam, and I'm the children's librarian at the Walnut Hills Library. I want to share a special story with you today about pet adoption. This story, we get to tag along with Lola. She's going to visit the library to learn about how to care for a pet. We're going to go shopping so we can get all of the bedding and toys and food for our pet. And we're going to visit the pet shelter so that we can pick out a furry friend. Are you ready? This is Lola Gets a Cat and it's written by Anna McQuinn with pictures by Rosalind Beardshaw. Lola loves cats. She wants a real one. Mommy says, looking after a cat is a lot of work. Lola decides to find out more. She learns that cats are super at smelling and hearing. Lola reads all about how to care for cats. She pretends Dinah is a real cat and practices looking after her. At last, Mommy agrees. Lola can get a cat. Mommy and Lola find out how to adopt one. At the cat shelter, they meet Jeremy. He shows them three perfect cats. Before Lola can decide, one little cat chooses her. Jeremy says moving is scary for cats. He gives Lola a list of things that will help. Lola will be back as soon as everything at home is ready. All the next day, Lola and Mommy shop. What a lot of stuff for a little cat. Lola and Daddy make a special corner where her cat will settle in. Finally, Lola is ready to bring her cat home. At first, the cat is afraid, but her own blanket makes her feel safe. Lola says not to worry. At home, the little cat stays in her carrier. After a while, she comes out and sniffs around. Lola watches. She knows her cat isn't ready to play just yet. Lola decides to call her cat Makeda. It is the name of an African queen. Lola takes excellent care of Makeda. She feeds her and gives her fresh water. One day, Lola's friend Ty brings a special present for Makeda. Ty and Lola play with Makeda all afternoon. At last, Makeda feels right at home. Her favorite thing is to snuggle Lola. Every evening, Lola reads to Makeda. Tonight's story is about a famous cat. Lola loves her new little cat, and reading with Makeda is the best of all. The end. Thank you for sharing Lola Gets a Cat with me. I wanted to share a rhyme with you. Our rhyme is going to do three things. First, it's going to help us hear the syllables, the smaller parts of language, so that when we are superstar readers and we encounter unfamiliar words, we'll be able to better sound out those unfamiliar words. Two, 
we are going to use the muscles in our hands and do actions to go along with our rhyme. That will help us strengthen our muscles so we are ready to become writers. And three, it'll give us a gentle reminder of how to treat animals because when animals are present, we want them to feel safe. This rhyme is called My Cat. I want you to make a fist. We're going to pretend that our fist is a cat. And I want your hands to do what my hands do. We'll repeat it at least once, but let's see how you get it along the first time. I like to pat my cat. She has such nice soft fur. And if I do not pull her tail, she will not go grrrr. Wasn't that fun? Let's try it one more time now that we've got our dress rehearsal out of the way. Make your fist, and here we go. I like to pat my cat. She has such nice soft fur. And if I do not pull her tail, she will not go grrrr. Thank you, friends. Have a wonderful day. Get free books in the mail. Sign up today. Go to Ohio Imagination Library.org to find out more.